Lord, we thank you for the who you are. We enter your courts with thanksgiving and praise, with deep affection in our hearts for the one who loved us enough to die for us. We look squarely into your eyes this morning. We hold your hands. We embrace you. We come together side by side, pointing at you, telling you of our love for you. We want all heaven, earth, we want all the angelic hosts, the elders to hear of our great love for you. We want them to listen on as we tell you how special you are. We love you, Son of God. We come and we set our par- selves apart because it's just and right to do this. We seek you, why? Because worthy is the Lamb. Number one, worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive all glory and honor and praise. Worthy are you to have every knee bow and every tongue confess how wonderful you are. Worthy of you, are you to have all the people praise you this morning across the planet. Worthy is our Father to receive all the affection of every child created in his name across this earth, whether they love you and serve you or not. There is an awakening to come of your worthiness. There will be a day and an hour when you will be loved that Matthew 22:38. You will be loved that every knee will bow, every tongue will confess, and that you will be loved with a people's heart, mind, soul, and mind. Every bit of them will love you and love you rightly. It's more than a commandment, it's a prophecy. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all their heart, mind, might, and soul. It'll happen. It'll just erupt from a people. They can't hold it back. The worthy lamb, they'll see you. Glorious Father, they'll look at you and they'll say, I have to do this. I have to give him the love he's due. Oh, they'll see the one worthy of love, worthy of all the adoration of our hearts. And they'll ache to give you the love that you're due. And we ache here this morning. I ache to give you the love that you're due. I'm lovesick after you. I long for you. I want all of my life to tell you how worthy you are, not just Sunday mornings. I want Monday through Saturday. I want my work. I want all the events of my life that I stop, that I engage, that I'm engaging through the process. I'm saying worthy is the lamb that was slain. Worthy is the wondrous one that I be, should be fully engaged out of a motivation of love for him and all the human activities on the planet. Worthy are you, Son of God. We come and we seek you and we set apart a time to tell you how worthy you are and we set apart our lives. Men ought to always pray, not cease, never, never faint and cease. That is us this morning. We want to give you worthy love every moment of every day. We die if we don't give you worthy love. We wilt if we don't love you rightly. Our hearts shrink, they melt, they fold up. There's nothing to them. We say you are worthy of love. We have to give you love. We have to, like a bird chirps, we have to express love for you. Your beauty, your awesomeness, your tenderness, your eyes looking upon us, call for that kind of adoration when we really, really, really see you. We look at the models from the days gone by. We look at Paul, and when he saw you, he said to everyone, know this, that everything is done to the surpassing value of knowing him, abounding in love for him. Worthy is a lamb that was slain. Paul said, I've seen him to give all the affections of my heart every day. None of these activities of the day, even the building that I did on the planet, none of it measures up. None of it fulfills like loving him rightly. Said Jeremiah, Jeremiah said, I don't want anything. I want to boast in nothing, but that I've loved you, known your loving kindness, 
known who you are in Jeremiah 9, 23, and given you the love that you're due. I always see Isaiah fell at your feet, just said, whoa, I'm a man of unclean lips. I see him in his worthiness, and I am just consumed. I have no other thought but him. Joshua 5, Joshua saw you, and he said, worthy is his captain of the host. I control nothing. He is everything. We want to be consumed freshly today with the worthiness of who you are and give you the worthy love that you're due. We've been poor worshipers. We give you 1% of the affections and adorations that you're due, and we know we're working through our lives on this planet, but our hearts long to give you all that we can give you in in this hour, all that we can give you every moment of every day. Worthy is you, are you. Lift up a worthy love from each of us. Blessed God, the number one reason we come to seek you and love you, set apart time to commune you is flat out just because you are worthy. Worthy are you. We agree with the Revelations 4 and 5 seeing the Revelations 19 see the wedding feast. We agree where they all look upon you and they tell us, mankind, this one thing that we can tell you is worthy is he for us to cast down our crowns, the elders, the angels, holy, holy, holy is he. Worthy is he, the angels say 24 hours a day to be loved. Worthy is the son of God to inherit and have all dominion, praise, honor forever and evermore. Worthy are you. Oh, we hold your hand, Son of God. You've given us such entrance. We look into your eyes and we say, God, you are worthy. There has been none like thee ever, 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 ever before, ever now, ever will be none like you. Worthy are you. 